we are going to get tested for COVID. And this is our number 12, 12. COVID test we have had. This is bad. This is real this bad. Is bad. Especially for a trip like this. So today we're checking off a big, big bucket list item. That's right, we are going to the Galapagos Islands. I couldn't be any more excited. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. However, I am just filled with anxiety because guess what? Well, we took our COVID test yesterday and we still haven't received the results. And it's 5.40 a.m. today. Our flight leaves at 9.27 and I heard that we are going to get our results at 9 a.m. I don't know how all this is going to play out, to be honest. <sighs> and um, I'm hoping once I get to the airport, the coordinator of our trip will, will help us because this is bad. This is real this bad, is bad, especially for a trip like this. Especially that our travel insurance doesn't even cover this trip because it was just too much money. Oh man, it's an eight day cruise throughout the Galapagos Islands. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, please, 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 positive vibes. So we're here at the airport. I found Tony, our airport coordinator, and things are looking positive. He gave me our voucher and other documents that we need to check in. Yep. Tony said not to worry, sit tight. Um, in a little bit, he's going to speak with the nurse that's here who checks the PCR test and let them know what's going on. And also when the ticket, the ticket agent is open, he's going to get our boarding passes. I have a great feeling about this. I'm not so anxious as I was and I'll stay. <laughs> I am still nervous because the flight leaves at 9.23 and we don't get the results until 9. I can't help I but know, be nervous, guys. I know, I know, I know. We got, we got time. a time! No. We're going to the Galapagos Island! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so excited! We gotta go, we gotta go! We are going to the Galapagos! I want to cry right now ooh. of happiness! I cannot believe this! I'm not gonna lie, I was scared shit that we weren't gonna make it. I was very nervous. I was, I had so much anxiety, I honestly felt like I was gonna pass out. Is that strange or what? I know the feeling, trust me, but look where we are. stress we needed to go to the lounge <laughs> so i had a sandwich some jello and some fruit and some water i feel so much more relaxed now yeah and now we're boarding so we're going to the galapagos <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>
I had no idea. I was telling Gladys that I was hoping that they had some kind of special stamp for the Galapagos oh, Islands. Oh, wish came true. I sure did. <laughs> well, we picked up our luggage and now we're taking a bus to a small boat to a yacht. seals we've seen since we landed here. Look at this. These guys are lounging anywhere. This guy is knocked out. Alright, so before entering the boat, we must take our shoes off. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since yesterday. That's I'm true. Lying. I'm lying. I had crackers when I was waiting. That's not food. <laughs> We're home. Look how nice. This is nice. I like it. It's yeah, spacious. Nice. Look. It's day one and we are navigating to our first location. It's just one and a half hours away to Las Bachas Beach. It's just enough time to eat, freshen up, and go over the rules and regulations of the Galapagos. Now it's time for our first excursion. Blue-footed boobies that we just saw a couple flying by. Um, the most famous iconic animal in the Galapagos nowadays. When you, do, you type Galapagos in Google search, the picture that you're gonna get first is always a blue-footed boobie. It's interesting because blue-footed boobies are not endemic to the Galapagos. They are native. It means that we have blue-footed boobies here in the Galapagos, but we also have blue-footed boobies in continental uh, land, in mainland, Ecuador, right? We have blue-footed boobies all the way up to Mexico. the next eight days here in the Galapagos Islands. There's going to be so much to see and to do. Oh my. Guys, I got to tell you, this is a dream come true. It is. I still can't believe that we're here, actually. I'll tell do you. Do you want to explain to them why we were really like kind of stressed out? So we were stressed out mainly because Gladys got her COVID test back last night and it was negative. However, 
mine came back as inconclusive. Un inconclusive. So just by reading up on that, what that meant was that it can go either way. Positive or negative. And, and I got <laughs> I gotta tell you, for the for, for the first hour after hearing that, I was in panic mode a little bit. We were we were both nervous a bit. And Even then I just realized yeah. that you didn't have it. If you're negative then there's a very good chance that I'm going to be negative also. Plus, we, we've been vigilant since we've been traveling, since COVID came out. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So, it was a little unnerving, but to finally get the results, well, actually, Kenny's result that his negative was <laughs> beyond yeah. exciting. So, oh, so our guide is waving his hands, so we right, are out guys, of here. We're going back to the clip so. All right, let's go. Hey guys, make sure you stay tuned to next week's video as we hike Ptolemy Summit, snorkel, and visit Eggersport. And remember, if you are enjoying our content and would love to support us, you can do so by subscribing, hitting that like button, and sharing our videos with your friends and family. We love hearing from you guys, so let's chat in the comments below.